Hashtag rise and grind. There's a, a, a famous gentleman by the name of Matthew Arnold that puts it this way. He says, resolve to be thyself and know that he who finds himself loses his misery. Now, regretfully, in today's society, in the world that we live in today, many people spend their entire lives without finding that seed. Or maybe they find the seed at some point in their life and then they ultimately squash or squander it. They let life drown it out. They find areas that they're comfortable and stay there. And I'm here to say to you this morning as your friend, because I believe to be kind is to be clear. So as your friend, I'm here to say to you that you seeking and staying in comfortable positions is an incredibly selfish thing for you to do. Because see, your gift, that seed that was planted inside you by your father, that gift was not for you. It's not for you. It was never for you. You see, the gift that's inside you, that thing that gives you all the electricity, all the energy, that everlasting fuel, your purpose, that thing that makes you you, that was ultimately planted inside you so you could make an impact in other people's lives. That's it. It's not for you. It's selfish for you to stay in this space, for you to squander your gifts. Now, as we talk about fathers, I can't help but talk about mine. And you see, I had a rough relationship with my dad. My dad was a man who squandered his gift. He allowed the tough outer shell to lead his life for the most of his life. Now, my father passed away at 52 years old passed away at 52 he laid down on a Sunday afternoon to take a nap and he never woke up but I gotta tell you in the early years of my dad's life it was it was it was brutal my dad was an angry man he was a broken man and in response to that he took that out on me and my sister he was physically violent with us verbally assaultive to my mother he was a very hard hard man and him being that way led me well led him and my mom to get divorced ultimately but also led me down this path the path where I did spend time in poverty, the path where I did get a woman pregnant in her teens, a path where I had behavioral problems, a path where I spent a lot of time abusing drugs and alcohol, a path where I spent time in prison. A path where I committed many of crimes. It also says here a path where most people suffer obesity. And I didn't suffer from that until until recently. <laughs> I'm working on that. But you see, when my father allowed the hards of his life, he grew up the youngest of 13 in a shack in Dade City, Florida. And when he let the hearts of his life squander and squash his gift, because he truly was an incredible human being. He had a smile that could light up the, the darkest room. He had the ability to make you feel things. 
to be able to to make you feel so incredibly special and electric when he wanted to when he turned it on when he was at his best it made such an impact on the room but my father squashed that and squandered that and he settled into a job driving a forklift for most of his life he never truly stepped into his gift he never nurtured his gift he never allowed his gift to shine through and make an impact on other people's lives now when my father passed away at 52 when he passed away at 52 i believe he died of a broken heart his knees went out he could no longer play the game that he loved basketball was about the only thing that my father stepped into and when they took that away, he laid down on a Sunday afternoon and never woke up. My friends, I share this story with you not to have you feel sorry for me, not to be a negative Nelly or be a downer first thing in the morning. I share this story because I need you to understand the importance of having a father in your life. And your physical father is important and will ultimately make an impact on the direction your life takes. However, I had a choice and I chose not to follow in the footsteps of my father here on earth, but to follow in the footsteps of my father in heaven. Hashtag rising ground, hashtag rising ground, first thing on my mind.